Thanks, Buffalo. Host. We are working on the Devil Dare Day Two. Who uh, who ended up winning that series? Iron Man's. I've had an Iron Man before. I really liked it. So we worked on this yesterday. If you're just coming in here, we have a drop target to adjust the spring. We have a pop bumper to make more sensitive, and then we have a. Uh, oof. That was my phone. Please don't be cracked. Phew. When I picked it up, <laughs> there was like a hair across the screen, and I was like totally freaking out. Um, so yeah, we have a, a uh, this top left flipper is all busted to heck, so we're going to be uh, changing that with another flipper bet. So let me see. I think I should do the flippers. That's the most important thing, is, is getting it flipping 100% for tomorrow. Because right now it's it's broken. And it's like, it's making the ball like fly up. This, this little camera thing is not working. I wish it would like zoom out or something. Tilt bob on feather steel. Pinball streams all night, yeah, for real. They're becoming more common, I'll tell you that. All right, so I guess I should try it. I haven't, ever, I haven't messed with dolly flippers in forever. I'm sure, it's just the same mechanism. It's actually this one over here. It's shaking in roughly the middle. Oh, this th this part uh, right here. Yeah, there's definitely some catch that's going on. Well, there was. Yeah, at the very beginning, it's one. It's catching, so that's not good. Probably just. So yeah, look, it's just needs to be tightened down. Missing a screw too. All right, no sticky. Oh yeah, this thing. Yeah, that's the slam tilt. You don't really need that at as a home operator. You also have you also have one usually on the coin door. I'm not sure if these gottliebs have them as well. All right, so let's get this flipper off. So, Cafe, how you doing? What do I win? You win the ability to join the Pinball Wizards if you ever get streaming, because you should, because you're a really good player. That's what you win. <laughs> yeah, this is System 80. It's a pain in the ass. It's like all these things that they had to do to avoid patent lawsuits. So like the pop bumpers and the, a lot of the coils they don't have a brain for themselves, and the plunger will actually hit two switches. So one for the, like, not on the flippers, but like on uh, the pop bumpers, there'll be a, a, a switch to uh, activate the solenoid, a solenoid, and then underneath that, there'll be a switch for the score. So like, they're really dumb. And then the diode, instead of being mounted on the coil, the diodes are mounted underneath the play field. Um, yeah, and <laughs> Basically, like if you short something out, which I almost did yesterday, if you, if you short something out, it takes out everything, um, like an extreme switch matrix. 
Oh yeah, the slam tilt might give me something that I haven't heard. It's probably just like a sound from uh It's probably just a sound from uh Haunted House that I've heard before. Yeah, and this uh, this this tilt ball needs to be moved up. That's like a no tilt right now. Hangs in the center, which it is not. And the freaking final countdown song stuck in my head. All right, thanks for the host, Buffalo. See you guys later. All right, let's get to this flipper. Let's get to the flapper. Probably this one. Two, no, that's right. All right, six. I don't want music on. They muted YouTube mutes my streams and I do that. Which is not good. Don't you have to worry about which wire goes where if you replace the coil? Uh yeah, you wanna get the I believe you wanna get the coils. You wanna get the lugs right. Looking at these lugs, man, the soldering job was horrible previously. Yeah. But they're flipping fine. Nice strong flippers, so I'm not going to mess with them. Alright, that flipper came off. So, this is why we're changing up the flipper. It is jankity. So it's got, uh, like seeing Kay said the other day, it's got the shaft, the metal shaft, or the metal rod, and then it's got a oh, sorry, the plastic. It's got a screw holding the plastic to the top. So I think I, I'm probably sacrilegious, but I'm probably just gonna put in a. Uh, I can't even. I was just gonna put in a uh, Williams flipper bat. We'll just we'll just move this one up top. It can probably be. Yeah, let's see if we can make it tighter. I should put, let me put autofocus on the cam that's on the, uh, the cam that's moving around. Hey, Ducks are fresh, how you doing? Favorite value of all time, that's a compliment. Alright, if that little, that like back and forth zooming keeps on happening, let me know and I'll turn the auto, uh, I'll turn the autofocus off. This is like a freaking extreme close up with this other camera. Normally, I, well, I guess I'll just move it.
still like extremely close. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out the best position for this. It's back, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just trying to get it so you guys can see me and see uh, what I'm working on. All right, so yeah, we took that flipper bat off. So now we have to do the other one in back, one that we're going to place it with. So. This is going to be loud. So there are two Allen screws that you, uh, you have to tighten or loosen to remove the bat. Near the stream, I, I play games as well. I don't just work on <laughs> But I want the game to be fully working, so this angle is like really pain in the butt. I'll just like flip her back to be like a different size. I don't think it will be. I don't know why I can't get in there. It's like perfect. Swinging my sword around, bam, bam, bam. The tip of the Allen wrench won't even get in there. Spoiled rich kid that hires something and he fixes it. Man, you don't even own games. So I don't want to hear it from you. This is fun, though. You know, like, if you were to own games and something breaks, you drink some whiskey and... 
work on games all night. You don't go out, you don't have to go out to the bar. And for you guys up in Buffalo, I'm sure you get snowed in and work on games. I don't want to, I really don't want to take this again. I have to take this whole bracket off. It probably would only be like just those screws right there. What if I have a smaller uh, Allen wrench? Not even reckon. Eighty percent of mine. I don't know if it's eighty percent. It's like a good. Well, it also depends on what kind of collector you're. There's dudes where it totally is eighty percent of the fun. Like they're more into like working on games. I'm a little bit more into playing them. I would say it's probably like thirty percent fixing, seventy percent actual gameplay. But there's yeah, there's definitely dudes that are like eighty percent. And the worst case scenario is that I keep on doing this badly. And I strip the freaking, I strip it. Let me like worst case scenario. All right, I'm gonna take off this switch right here. I can get to it better. Like first successful boot, buy a beater and bring it back to life. Yeah, dude, definitely with that fast pinball, uh, you know, if the boards are shot and everything, it'd be fun. You just gotta like modify the play field or retheme it. Now we should be able to get to it a lot easier. So we just did that one earlier. Altered Beast would be a sweet pen. Arise from your grave. That'd be pretty cool. Let's see. So all these ridges and crap. I'm gonna try to clean that with a, a toothbrush. And some rubbing alcohol. So bright and shiny now. Pin design stream. Yeah, dude, I get a lot of, uh, I mean, you get a lot of traffic anyways, but I get a lot of uh, people interested in these kind of streams. And it motivates me to do them. So that's why I do them. Where's the camera? See? Press the two. Da -da 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 -da.
brush your pinball game's teeth. Golly flippers are your favorite style of flipper? Al, did we end up raffling off those flippers? What flippers? I don't remember. Oh, oh, uh, that's, uh, that's all, uh, talk to Dan about that. I just volunteer with Project Pinball. I, I don't have a, a stake in the organization. Um, so I don't know. Yeah, he's going, I'm sure he will. Uh, yeah, but we didn't give him away for the, uh, tournament that we held. Hey, Scribble, how you doing? Level the book pace. Yeah, uh, under the, under the play field of Adam's family, it's a freaking wreck. It's like, it's Metal City. A lot of Pat Lawler games underneath, underneath is just a disaster. <laughs> well, not necessarily a disaster, but basically they, he, could, he made Adam's Family, so, or he made you know, a couple successful pens so that he can do whatever he wanted. And then Adam's Family underneath is like all like metal subway troughs and everything, it's crazy. Um, the worst is no good gopher. I cut the shit out of my hands. Uh, working on no good gophers. All right, so this is the good flipper. This is the bad flipper. See, and it's got a metal, it's got a metal L shape for the flipper, and it's got plastic on top, and it's all loosey goosey. So we're gonna try tightening it up by screwing the bottom. See if not, seeing if that gives us some more. Yeah. That'd be a lot better. And now it's all not all loosey goosey. So that's the technical term, loosey goosey. If you guys all know. If I had a replacement part, it would. Uh, but these Gottlieb shafts are like thicker than normal. All right, so let's put this on here. get a visual and see if you need to adjust it and then you and then you crank it down with the Allen wrench so let's see where that flipper looks like Disconnected. Don't worry, don't panic, mask at me. I know what's going on. Rip can. Spooky Pinball is making a Domino's Pizza Pinball Party. Imagine like pizza, like pizza slices as the flippers. What would be the top tier? What would be the Williams Pizza? The top tier pizza? What would be the Gottlieb? What would be the uh, the freaking Premier from the like the in the industry trains? Alright, so let's look at this. 
Can you guys see the flipper? Yeah, you can kind of see it. Avoid the Noid. Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut would probably be the Williams. Oh God, sauceless multi ball. This this dude in the chat room, Cathode Rays. This person I I call my friend. He eats pizza with no sauce. Just just think about that for a second. We'll be dropping slurs in this chat. <laughs> so fucking Canadian. It is actually really Canadian. But like that's not a bad thing. It's just it's really Canadian. <laughs> but like, okay, so I've I've given him shit for it for so many years. But when you think about it, it's just like he's eating cheesy bread. Cheesy bread's pretty freaking good, right? He just really likes cheesy bread. I need a cameraman. Come on, Jack. Let's get a professional cameraman for our pro streams. Then I, t I dip that cheesy bread in sauce. Damn right you do. Because you're a man. And then like sauce on her pizza. I can't see shit. So we're tightening the two Allen screws back down. Or at least attempting to. Why can I not get to this one again now? Almost threw up from the motion sickness from Fallout 4. Too many FPSs. It's, I think it's locked at 60 FPS. At least I know the consoles are locked at 60 FPS. You stream at 60 FPS, you should be able to handle it, buddy. down on the uh, flipper pretty good. Alright. Let's 
put the other flipper back. It's locked at 30. I know when people went to go see, uh, they offered the Lord of the Rings and like 120 FPS or something, and people got sick from it. But that has like a lot of motion movement, so uh, we're going to have to drop this thing down again. Pinball stripper. You are a pinball stripper. You're the closest thing, even if he's wrong, that flip, you're the closest thing we have to having a pinball stripper. <laughs> or a pinball horror, basically. Oh, we have to remember to put that target back on, which I took off. I just saw the freaking, I just saw the, uh, thing on the bottom of the play field. I don't mean that in a bad way, but you kind of are a whore. It's a good thing. If I was as good looking as you, I'd be a filthy man whore, pinball whore as well. <laughs> Show JD our new technique. <laughs> no, I think that needs to be shown in person. Plus, I don't want to do it on stream. <laughs> All right, so stripper bat number deuce. Now, I'm sure you guys know how flippers are aligned. Uh, different companies did different things. For Gottlieb, they have most of the ADAs, they have this rail, so you can just line up with the rail. And also, you just want to make sure it looks like it would lay, stay flat and not like if it's up like that, the ball is going to affect the ball. You don't want to affect the ball at all. So you want to line it here. Williams has Williams and a lot of other pins have like holes in the play field that you align with. And that's what you go off. I'm going to do it the same thing I did last time. I'm going to do it a little bit by hand. And then uh, tighten it down. Uh, tighten it down with the actual. Is that what's going on here? I might have tightened the other one a little bit. At the, and not at the end of the full stroke of the coil. So you want to, um, don't trust your eyes uh, at this angle. You want to lower the play field and look, see if it looks lower. Or see if it looks right. Let's see, yeah. It looks right. Chatting away, which I like, just hard to keep up with. A new uh, strategy to psych out tournament players. Yeah. All right, bye, that flip. Turn off Godrays. I don't have a gaming PC, so I don't, I don't have the can't do all that stuff. I don't even have a current gen. I'm an old school gamer. It's 
So I think on the other coil that I tightened down earlier, I think I might have not done it at the end of the end of the stroke. Uh, I might need to look at that because I don't remember the uh, both of them being as hard to get to as they were. Make sure this is still tightened down or correct angle. Uh, looks a little lowish. This one. Make sure everything's tight down here. This other flipper had some loose parts. So that should be good on the flipper. It's not a pleasant sound. Coil sleeves the wrong size. Yeah, coil sleeves. Uh, you want to change them out. But there's so many. There is so many different sizes. All right. So yeah, I think we tighten this flipper down a little, a little short. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna loosen it again and then make sure I set it correctly. Working with Allen wrench is probably my least favorite thing about Tumble Williams. I really don't like him. Come on. Could have got any more grab. See, my fear was that I attached it. Let me see what you guys can see. Let me try to get you zoomed in as much as I can. So my fear was that I tightened this down uh, when the flipper was a little bit in, like that. So I didn't think I, I was getting the full stroke. So I just wanted to double check and make sure that I was getting the full stroke, which it looks like I am. So the spring is uh, setting it back to where it needs to be. think everything is going to work once we get it back together sometimes it doesn't <laughs> all right so after this we have after this, we have uh, check the make the top the top bottom yeah the top 
top bumper more sensitive. And then we have check the springs on the middle two drop targets. Make sure they're snap snappy. Alright. Let's screw this thing back in, the target. See, the problem with me is I always drop stuff, like all the time. I just dropped a screw, and the problem with just getting going and getting another screw is the screw could have fell somewhere that it's rounding out. Okay, I see it now. There we go, got it. was going in a little bit crooked, which you don't want. Screw. Okay, done with that. So we got this top pop bumper. So what I'm doing here is I'm hitting the skirt and I'm seeing when it actually contacts. And it looks good. So with these, they have a, a little plastic plunger and then it has like a spoon and the spoon catches the plunger and that grounds out with another switch. Um, now, I can try cleaning that. These Gottliebs, <laughs> they're actually really sensitive. You don't want to uh, use sandpaper or anything like that. So I'm gonna just try cleaning it a little bit. And they already, it already looks really tight. Maybe bent just a little bit. See, I just closed it by accident. It's really sensitive. And you don't wanna, like I said earlier, these games are kinda dumb. So if it has the coils closed, it will just lock on. So you want to be really careful with that. So to clean in between those two, I'm just going to use a piece of paper. Um, you can use any kind of piece of paper. Put a towel across the cabinet. Yeah, you could do that. Or you could just look at the bottom of the cabinet. A little dirty. Mm -hmm. 
Might have ended up just for the other flipper as well. Or the other uh, pops over here. Hopefully that fixed that. Otherwise, we can try bending that uh, switch. Looks pretty sensitive though. All right, next is the drops. So the problem with the drops is that the springs are, and the two center ones are not tight enough, or the just the drops themselves need to be clean. And because uh, they're staying elevated a little bit, uh, this kind of looks like a pain. So on belly drops, they don't have like this cage around them. It's normally like you can get into it and adjust it. So you can reset it manually. You can look to see how quickly it drops, but without like natural gravity, if you put it like put it flat, that's the the real way it will drop. See, these look fine now. Looks like there's two sets of springs too. There's a bottom spring and there's a top spring, which I'm not used to. Normally, uh, valley drop targets only have one spring. I might not mess with these tonight. That's so loosey. having trouble going down even without the spring so it might not be the spring there might be a manual adjustment I can do um, usually okay so this is a, like a restrictor bar so I could try adjusting that and seeing if that fixes see this right here so what this does this tells the drops when where to stop at so I'm gonna try unscrewing these and then just lowering it just a little bit and seeing if because right now um, this one goes all the way down. So this one goes all the way down because it doesn't have a restrictor plate at all. But these, these don't aren't going all the way down. See, should be going down further than that. And that's because on the other side, brace yourself. On the other side, uh, they're hitting that restrictor plate. So we'll try lowering that and seeing if that makes a difference. Flatheads on all this, this freaking. I don't like flathead. Everything still working for you guys? Oh, my phone crash? this is adjustable. It might not even be adjustable.
but I assume it's just routed with a big slot and then you can slide it up and down as needed. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so let's get these all the way flat. So I'm manually pushing down all these drop targets. Now you don't want to go too far because if you go too far, then the drop target's going to be below the play field and your ball's going to go into a dip. So you want to try to get it just, you know, just right. Kind of hard. I'm surprised uh, the plate doesn't go across all five of these. I'm going to put a flat surface on top of the drop targets and then push uh, push the drop targets into them and then tighten it down. So when you shot pass uh, through the ball wouldn't go into the kick out hole. Yeah, it was, uh, it was acting like a ramp, like they were staying elevated. I don't think we saw this the other day though as much as it, as I saw it. It's still up to a little high. That's good. Alright, so I'm gonna crank it down now. Hopefully this will see an improvement here. This is what I'm, I'm trying as an easy fix, um, but probably the correct thing to do, or the thing that I'll eventually need to get done is to adjust all these springs. Phillips heads or flat heads. So I think this is it on maintenance, but that's if everything that we did works as we intend it to.
What did you miss? Yeah, adjusting the drop targets. Uh, C and K, there's a restrictor plate uh, underneath that can adjust the height of the of the drop target's depth when it drops down. So the depth of it was it was staying up too high. It was hitting the restrictor plate, so we lowered that down a little bit, hoping hoping that will fix what we're seeing. Um, but we'll see if that fixed it or not. I need to be adjusted again. The, the target, the far left of the three bank, it uh, it looks a little low. This flipper, look, this left flipper looks a little low too. We'll see though. So let's see if that top pop bumper is more sensitive. Looks like it. It wasn't firing. Uh, it was firing when like it was being thrown into, but when it was bouncing on the top of it, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't reacting. So that looks better. We know it's not locked on because you would smell it. But also, it wouldn't be firing, it would just hit it. If it was locked on, it would just be dead. Okay, so that's better. Uh, flipper, let's see if the flipper still cracks on the uh, drop targets. Uh, that was pretty high. I guess we won't know until we put the glass back on. All right, dudes, I think that's it. I think we fixed uh, what we... Uh, just locked the ball. I'm like, what's going on here? Hit the slam the coin door? Yeah, good idea. So 
the one on the phone door? How's it credit? So the one in the coin door doesn't work, but there's one under the play field. And that one's disabled too. Where's... Uh, do you guys want to see a couple games or you just want to wait till tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow I'm having people over around 7 um, and I'll be doing a full stream there of the game. I just wanted to make sure I was in tip-top shape for tomorrow because this is a really, <coughs> it's a really fun playing game, and I didn't want those a uh, few of those little things to act up. This pop-up route. How do you change the cap on these? Top pump over looks like the light's not coming on. Play it a little bit. See, the problem is I, I'm using a different cam profile, but uh, let's see if I can switch one while I am live. So we can change. Looks like everything's playing well. Okay, so that one's still low resolution. Okay. So. Tilt. Uh, I turned. I, I moved up the tilt a little bit. So yeah, it's, it tilts on. <laughs> Camera chill. Why is it still auto-focusing even though I just turned it off? Alright. One second.
R6 on the soundboard. Why? What does that do? Oh, is that the pitch that you wanted me to adjust the other day? This is going to be a mess for a second, guys. i got to uh, fix all the cameras again. Audio. Should be good. All right, let's adjust all these freaking settings again. So, no, don't want autofocus. And that should be good. All right, next one, this one. Okay, so adjust the white balance a little bit there we go that one should be good and lower the resolution to that 
Okay, well now I'll adjust the play field, the back glass. Okay, everything should be good. Black hole, you have a slam tilt mod that prevents slam tilt causing issue from causing issues. One day while inspecting it, wiping balls down, found that if you put ball from the shooter and drain six times, no scoring, it caused a slam tilt. Huh, weird. Have you tried swapping BG cams position with player cam? Uh, I can. I've done different layouts before, like uh, like what you're saying. There is uh, these scorings down here. Uh, so we have a bonus, and we have the ball number, and then a multi-ball uh, mode and whatnot. Um, I haven't decided what I want to do with that. I could. Uh, I might be able to, um, I don't know how close this cam camera is. Here, let's try something. Let's see. Let's see what the camera, the full camera is seeing. Okay, so that's what the camera is seeing. So I was I was wondering if I could like uh I can't be right because it's getting the top part. Let me see. I was hoping it was zoomed out enough to get all of it, and then I could just add the camera and the source twice, uh, and get and get away with like having what looks like two displays. But for now, this will have to work. Player cam takes up too much real estate. Well, screw you, buddy. <laughs> Your player cam takes up too much real estate. Oh, crap. We forgot uh, this top um, pop bumper. The light's out. Oh, I found that top, that white piece that we we're missing from yesterday. It's behind the, a drop target up there. <laughs> you should go ahead and fix that. Game, please. Oh, 
Oh, now the now the drop target, the uh, pop upper, is working. The light was fine. What was the middle insert lamp, a drive transistor, or socket or bulb? Uh, I tried changing the bulb out and playing with the socket. Uh, what I didn't do was try uh, piggybacking the sockets um, with just you know two pieces of metal, you know, and a wire. <coughs> and if a light comes on, then the socket works just fine. And then it's a uh, it's a driver in the backboard. Um, yeah, but I didn't play with that. I'm not too concerned with that light. It's just a uh, it also gets hit a lot, so like even if you needed to get it down, you're gonna get it down by accident anyways. So yesterday our fix for this was to, uh, or my fix, which I didn't show on cam, <laughs> which was uh, just two two rubbers on the end of it to act as the spacer. Oh, uh, Catherine, are you coming to tomorrow? Do you plan on coming? And if you do, bring, uh, bring two godly rubbers too, please. If you can. That way it's super bouncy and annoying. I've got to loosen these two to get underneath. Yeah, there's like two light bulbs out. This one right here too. This one's weak, but it's just the socket. these targets in the front are still going to hit the glass. I'm hoping that um, changing out that flipper bat fixed it. String close up there on the other cam. We should be good. Uh, no. We have to put the plastic back on. Sometimes when they get kind of stripped, you can try swapping them. Actually, it's good. So I really like this game. Kelly, uh, my girlfriend, she looks at it and she's like, it's so ugly. 
she hates it. But then I put her on a game, and she had like her first game was like almost a million points. She freaking murdered it. I still want to try swapping these. She's like, oh, I have this game. I just wish the hurt was better. It plays really well. Yeah, see, I told you. I knew she was gonna like it. <laughs> Same, it feels the same way. Uh, this. Rubber was uh, over the uh, switch. If you don't want it, I'm gonna make sure these are tight too. This ball gate right here seemed like it was a little loosey goosey. Yes, yeah, it totally was. Anything that's loose on the play field, on the upper play field, will make the ball rattle. It'll make, you know, take away a lot of momentum on the shots. Alright, so this plate, this, oh, there we go. I was going to say, it looked like it's stripped, but uh, they just need to be tightened down. Um, a, a good temporary fix, if uh, a wood screw is feeling a little stripped on a play field, you can just add a... Uh, you can add a, a toothpick in the hole and then just clamp it down like that. Uh, yeah, CNK, this is not my machine. Um, it was purchased by a tournament space down in Fort Lauderdale. It uh, it was purchased from a game store that they were buying a Game of Thrones as well. And he didn't have space to fit both. And he knows that I've, I've always liked this game. So uh, he let me take it home, play with it for a little while, and then he'll get it at a later date. Which is fine with me. I think he bought it for um, just around $500. It's a really good deal. A Gottlieb flipper bat. Um, so you have a spare one? This one's uh, the bro the broken. We got it to stop wiggling by just screwing it down, uh, like CNK said. And the side that was broken is not on the side that hits the ball. So it's it's fine for an upper flipper right now. I'm going to try to hammer on those targets and see if... Uh, yeah, if we still get air balls, it sounds like we are. Oh, come on, Pop Bumper. The glare is still really real on this game. Hey, McCall, how you doing? Uh, yeah, we just got done fixing them. 
or fixing this one. We had a stream yesterday fixing it, and then today we finished off the things that were still bothering me. Other than a few light sockets, it's pretty much good to go. Hey Spence, how you doing? Where your stream's been at? So knocking down that target, these those five lights the the the, the lock for the three ball multi ball on the top left, and then we have to uh, hit the top left drop target set to set up the lock for the third lock. No, or we can just drain. Yeah, there's a couple. It's hitting the glass a little bit, but definitely not as bad as yesterday. Show up at the end? Yeah, he totally showed up at the end. And I'm a late streamer, too. It's like 12.40 here. So that, that top pop uh looks like it still needs to be adjusted just a little bit more to make it more sensitive. It's, it's definitely reacting more than it was. Yeah, see... Like there, that was good. But I think it could be just a little bit more sensitive. Uh oh. Well, that should have told me. Yeah, it's. Look at that scene, okay? That's definitely a lot smoother. We changed out the rubber behind there, too. See, that was a dead hit. I expected that to make some sound. I'm trying to hit it dead on there. Right, let's try to lock a ball. There we go. Yeah, uh, not not a flying toy. We fixed all the issues that we were uh, that we were looking to fix. Now, does that pop? Does that light at the top of the drop target? Does that go out? Like, is it controlled, or is that just like the? It's not. It's malfunctioning. There it comes back on. It looks like the whole assembly moves too. So I think. The bracket that's holding the, the coil might need to be uh, tightened down as well. Alright, so... We need to hit... Oh, man. We need to, need to hit this one drop target to enable the, the lock for the third ball. No! It doesn't save the frickin' lock. That's evil. It saves the memory of the lock. Huh. That might just be a fail safe in case, like, somebody tilts out or something. That way the ball's not left in the in the scoop. 
Because this, I know this game will, if this, uh, this system, ADA, won't start a game if all the balls aren't detected. And if that switch wasn't working, it wouldn't know to hit it out, so it just automatically hits it out as a failsafe. I am a night owl. <laughs> Vibrations, try bending the nipple contact up. Yeah, I'll try playing with it uh, just a little bit more tomorrow, not tonight. Right before we meet up. Definitely a pretty metal game. I want that top bird to more sensitive too. Same okay, I tried the, oh while playing yeah I tried it while playing. It seems disabled. No I like that this, uh, the kickback's manual, it's kind of a, it's weird for your brain to have to process that. to manually hit a button there after it went past the switch. It's crazy. Oh no! I gotta practice my tap passes too. I used to be freaking ace at it.
Manual kickback? Yeah. Yeah, so the bottom left one's Captive Cave, and the top one's Captive Pit. sunken insert there that's doing that. That happened to me earlier today, too. Oh, uh, CNK, if you can, uh, link, link that, uh, ADA that you have in chat, the uh, Panthera. I want people to see, uh, see that game. It's a really pretty, uh, and pretty rare, um, system ADA. I think it, I think the only downfall is that I think it's one player. Shit. You added a ton of callouts to your black hole? How'd you do that? Whoa. You use like a manual MP3 trigger? multi-ball. Oh, it took my brain like almost malfunctioned there. Like it wanted to, it did like sat there for a second before I hit it back. tabs on these drop targets or not the drop targets the pop bumpers to make sure that to put the cap on he has one that has like a spartan uh logo i can't see the light just want to make sure this light is solid so the tabs are on the halfway marks. There we go. Yeah, it could be from Mars.
See, that's what I was worried about. Drop target being too low. Because that can happen. The thinner side goes upside down. Yeah, they're, they're yeah they're kind of concave. I was noticing that the thinner side goes on the down part. That was pretty good. All right, last game from you guys. Uh, I'll be playing. We'll be playing for a few hours tomorrow. Um, I just want to do a maintenance stream mostly. I haven't really played that much of the Mars game. I think it looks cool. Most of the Gauntlet games from this era look really cool. does mean nothing. Fire. Fire. Of course I'm going to have a horrible game. Whatever, I don't even care. Like, normally I'd be like, play again, but this game's evil, <laughs> as you can see. Alright, dudes, uh, I'll be on tomorrow, probably around 7 or 8, uh, with some friends. Come watch, we'll play some Devil Dare, drink some drinks, and have a good night. Uh, let me find a, a host target for you guys. You got a big house also? CNK, what pins do you have, man? You got some good pins. I think you listed them one time and we were like, whoa, those are, those are